Hi guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. I am Jack, one of the tutors of Blue Sky Graphics. As always, we are based in Illustrator today and it's my pleasure to welcome you here as always. The reason why we're here today, guys, is to discuss how can we apply an effect via using the blend tool within Illustrator. We can affect the spine of our blend uh, very simply by using other tools within the toolbox. And we can create such things as you can see in front of you here. And what I'd like to do today is show you the step-by-step -step process of how to do it. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got another tab open. I've set it up as 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. And what I'm gonna do now is write my, my word. I'm gonna press Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows to get my character window out here. Let's say we're probably gonna go for impact. Very nice. I'm going to resize it by pressing Option on Mac or Alt on Windows to resize from the middle there and press Shift, obviously, to keep it nice and proportionate. Fantastic. So let's get that aligned better. There we go. Probably going to say about there will do. Nice. So if I get my type tool now, and let's write the word that we are using today. Okay, so with this word here, now what I'm gonna do is using Alt on the Windows or Option on Mac is I'm gonna duplicate like so. I'm gonna set the both of them. Let's apply sort of a yellowy kind of color here. And we are now gonna apply just a sort of very simple stroke like so. Now, what I'm gonna do using my blend tool the shortcut is the letter W for this tool is I'm going to click on the top word and then click on the bottom word like so. And there you have it, it's blended together. Now, I would actually like the bottom word to be in front. So what I can do is I can reverse this particular spine. So with it selected, I'm now going to go to Object, Blend. And as you can see here, one of the options is Reverse Spine. There we go. Fantastic. Now, actually, as well, what I'd like to do is increase the number of um, steps within the blend. So to do that, what I'm going to do is double click on the blend tool here, which will bring up my blend options. I'm going to use specify steps and I'm probably going to say, let's go crazy. Let's do 100 steps between each blend. OK, perfect. Now, as you saw in the original example, there was a curve to our spine. Okay, this blue line you can see through the middle here. If I was to get the curvature tool now, all I'm simply going to do is click a little ink on there like so, and I can move that to the left using my mouse. I'm going to come up a little bit here, and I'm probably going to move that to the right. Let's say, beautiful. Keep going up, following the pattern. Let's go left here, for instance, beautiful. Let's go to the right here. Perfect. Wonderful. And let's add another one. Like so. Okay. Now, as you also saw as well within the original, we had a different color fade from the back to the front. We create like a little gradient there. Now, how would I do that? I would need to use my direct selection tool. And I'm going to select the back letter. And as you can see now, what I can do now is change the color like so. And as you can see now, that is implemented within the um, blend. Now, what I'm going to do now is just use the rectangle tool. Let's create a nice sort of background here. Let's right click a range and center the back. Wonderful. And let's probably remove the stroke here. And that's sort of a more paler color for us to use to have a look at, let's say. Probably around sort of, there we go. Okay. And there you have it, guys. That is how you create and manipulate spines using the blend tool in Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, the courses that we offer, please don't hesitate in visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk 
Also as well, you can visit our Instagram at Blue Sky Graphics UK to have a look at some of our amazing work by our uh, very talented students. Take care, guys. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.